Look at his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the tools from my PlayStation Classic Tools Ultimate Pack. And today we're going to be focusing on the CHD Man. So what this does is you can take your bin queue files and create CHD files and you're going to save a lot of space and I'll show you the size difference a little later in the video. The other thing you can do is extract CHD games to bin queue and it'll create a single bin queue. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys how this works. So taking the CHD man folder from your ultimate pack, we want to right click and copy. And I'm just going to paste it on my desktop because I have a few games here. So we don't have to take our games out of the folders. We can leave them in folders. And so we have Tomb Raider that is multi. And then we have Strider that is a single bin queue. And Metal Slug X is also a single bin queue. So what we want to do is take our games and place them in the CHD man folder. So now all you want to do is go Q to chd.bat, double click, and it's going to automatically do the process for you. So I won't make you guys watch all three games convert. Um, but you could do this with, with all games. Like I did this with over 1,300 in a folder, and I just let it go overnight, and it turned out perfectly. I had all CHD games in the morning. It does not delete your original files, so be mindful of that. If you want to delete your original bin queues, you could delete them later. Uh, you won't need them, and I'll show you once this is all complete uh, why you won't be needing them. So Tomb Raider is a little larger and then obviously the Strider or the Metal Slug X. So I'll pause the video here and I'll come back when it's near completion and then I'll show you the size differences and also where we can go from here. Okay, so we're at 90 something percent. It's all done now. And what we have is now we have our CHD files. So we have Strider, Metal Slug X and Tomb Raider. If I highlight all of our original files that we were using, I'll go to properties. It was 802 megabytes total. If, let me get rid of this readme, make it easier. If I highlight our three new files, 405. So that's the upside of using CHD. If you want to use binq, you just keep your CHD files in the CHD man folder and do extract CHD to q.bat. So I'm going to double click that. And it will start extracting our CHDs. Now, if you remember with Tomb Raider, it was multi bin Q instead of just a single bin Q. When you extract your CHD, it automatically makes it a single bin Q. So it's just a lot cleaner setup. Um, Another thing you could use this for, if you take all of your games, convert them to CHD, and then convert them back, it's a faster process of making everything single bin queue if that's the way you like to do it. So you can see we have our CHD files, but it also made our bin queues, bin queue, and bin queue. So you can get rid of your CHDs or your bin queues. It's all up to you, whatever file type you want to use. CHD can serve space. Uh, bin queue, I really like, but you know, I like CHD if you're tight for, for storage. So that's how we use the CHD man from the PlayStation Classic Ultimate Tools Pack. That's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for more. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.